Hi there, welcome to the sixth video of this series working with data frames and here we will look at uh, some of the ways by which we can work with the data frames in a general way uh, which is required in pretty much every data analysis. Alright, so let's go ahead and import the pandas library and the from pandas import the data frame as well. So let's go ahead and execute that and uh, we will going to read the excel file which we have read in the previous videos as well here i have shown you how to read the data from an excel file and we are reading the uh, sample superstore file and we are getting the first sheet by accessing by specifying this zero which indicates the first sheet one will indicate two second sheet and so on and so forth so first sheet name is orders so that's what the object name i have given to store the values so if i go ahead and execute this and using the head command or the head function i will simply uh, get the first five rows if i want to have a look at the data which i usually want uh, after i have read the data so here is the data set that I have uh, just read and uh, here is the columns information so this will give me an idea about uh, uh, you know for some verification that all my data points like number of columns and their values are properly coming or not well if you want a uh, little bit less or more information you can always specify a value over here so if I want just two values, I can go ahead and say two and I will only get the first and second observation. If I want more, I can specify, let's say 20 and get four values. All right. After this, let's get the column names that are present in the in this data set. And it's pretty easy. As you can see, I will just access this uh, order object I created and use the columns to get the list of columns all right here it is the columns information all the columns that it has now the question arises why I would like to do that well in many cases after loading this entire data you may want to create some subsets of uh, data set so for example only some specific columns you may want to use and instead of uh, writing each and every column name it's pretty easy to get all the column names in a format like this and specify in the subset which i will show you in next couple of commands in that way you will going to create a subset of a data set which is very specific for your analysis and for that reason you may want to access the columns information all right here we are creating a subset which I just mentioned so what we are doing is we are using the data frame functions specifying the first values as the orders that uh, we want to access the orders data frame that we just created and these are the only columns which I want from this orders data frame and with the help of this data frame we are creating a new data frame which is orders underscore subset so this is pretty generic but you can give any specific name which is related to your analysis so i have just taken just you know copied and pasted uh, some columns like just picking up like this and pasted over here and i'm just executing this and after that i'm using the head and let's just show the first three observations i'll specify three execute this so this way now it's pretty easy for me to not uh, to look at this data set because it contains only those columns on which i want to do the analysis but not the entire hundreds of columns let's say if in that that's the case in uh, in your data set so that's why it is really helpful to access the columns and then create a data set with the help of this data frame function now let's see what happens in case if you are giving any additional column which is not present in your data frame and here i have specified the returns after the customer name so let's see this piece in action and see what values it contains so i'm pressing execute this and 
it is just containing the NAN. So sometimes it is uh, useful to create additional columns and that's the way you can create it. And maybe later in the stage you have a plan to store some calculated value. Let's say, you know, you get the order number from a different file and uh, you want to assign the order numbers over here with, with the help of some criteria or let's say you are having a final price for example and you are saying sales plus profit and then finally saying okay this is my final you know price on which i have uh, on which i have got the uh, revenue so that kind of operations you can create by creating a new column and that's how you can specify the new column and after that you can specify the calculation which we will see in subsequent videos about how we can do that and uh, after that we will see how we can get the individual columns like we have seen in the previous videos about how to work with the series so if i go ahead and execute this this is the way i can get any individual column values for let's say if I want to do some operation on on a particular uh, column values all right after that uh, what we can do is uh, or what I have is uh, how you can access the series with the help of the dot notation and if you have seen my previous video where I have talked about series so this dot notation is helpful only in those cases where you don't have any um, any space between the column names so for example uh, this order date is basically having a space between these two words and that's why i cannot use the dot notation but uh, here down there in this case in case of sales I have I don't have any two words which are having space so I can go ahead and use this and get sales values all right and after this I have the last command for you which is removing the column all right if I just scroll it down so first thing is deleting the column so if I just do this so it was the additional column that we added and uh, let's say we want to remove this so if I go ahead and execute this and along with that I am executing the head command all right as you can see uh, with the help of del delete I have removed the returns column and uh, with the help of head i am able to see the first five observation and in that i can verify that this column is not present so that's the way you can you know do the operations with your data frame and get it in the desired way or that is required for your analysis